Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglione, and if you haven't heard yet, Radio Cloud is the industry's first fully cloud-native automation, content management, and production platform. Today, we're focusing on the content management portion of the software, and I'll show you the audio browser and the audio editor and how to get the best out of both of those parts. And you can access all your audio files in this module up at the top by clicking on the audio browser. Once this page pulls up, you'll see a few different options across this top bar. On the far left is the drop down of all your different folders. So when you start with Radio Cloud, we give you an FTP folder with some different paths, one for your music, one for your imaging, one for commercials, and another couple for your music and traffic logs. And then inside those folders, we can drill it down and sort your content however you want. So you don't really have to change anything that you don't want to from the way you sort things currently. For example, this client has a folder for voice tracks, for a few different music categories, jingles, sweepers, promos, and they've chosen to name them with three capital letters. You can name them however you want. Music, hot, music, old, music, archive, anything you want, and for as many categories as you want. You can have 10 different jingle folders, you can have 100 different music folders. That's the content management portion of Radio Cloud. On the actual browser page here, you see a few different items, and what I'm going to do is go to one of the music folders just to show you what it would look like when looking up your song browser. So you have the AID and LID, which are going to be the numbers that link this song or this piece of imaging to your music scheduling database, and that's how we ultimately build out the correct playlist for you in Radio Cloud. Of course, you have your artist, your title, the day of creation, if the file's been modified since then, last time it was aired, and then the duration over here. Up at the top, you're able to search, so if we wanted to find a Prince song, I can start typing the word Prince, and it's going to start suggesting options underneath it. And I can either search by clicking on Prince, or I can come over here and click the search button. For this example, let's just click on Prince, you'll see the page will refresh, and I'll get any item with a prince in the artist name. So some of them are featuring prints. This one is DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Most of them are, of course, prints. You can search with titles as well and with duration too. To preview a song on the browser, all you have to do is press this play button and it's going to preview. And you can see it pops up in the bottom corner with a waveform. Now, the really cool portion of the audio browser here, because let's face it, this is a good place to sort your songs and your imaging into different categories, but that's all it is. However, the really cool feature that sets Radio Cloud apart from other content management and automation systems is the audio editor. You can access that by clicking this edit button right here next to any element, especially next to songs. What it's going to pull up is this box. You'll see your metadata at the top. You'll see your mood, which is allows you to set how fast or slow a song is, ranging from this client uses one, two, and three for slow, medium, and fast. You'll see your waveform right here with the ability to zoom in or zoom out and view your different metadata points. Most of them are intro, outro, and cutout. But here's what makes Radio Cloud so cool. If you scroll down on this page, you have the ability to set up to five different mix points or segues per audio element. Anything from cut in and fade in, your hook points, if you want to do a hook promo, and then the further down you go, alternate cut ins and fade ins, alternate mix points and fade out. So for example, if you have a song that's six or seven minutes, but there's a natural cutout point about three or four minutes into it, you can set that point right here in the audio browser, either by typing in the time or by clicking up here and then clicking set. And that is going to give the system an option to fade out a song and save some time later in the hour if an hour is running long. And that way, maybe you get an extra song or piece of imaging or voice track in at the bottom of the hour when otherwise you wouldn't have because the system would have just had to play the entire seven minute file. That's where Radio Cloud is really cool, and it's all done automatically. And again, you can set up to five different mix points. This other tab down here, timing, 
gives you a few different things. And if you've watched our broadcast clocks and jingle templates video, this will sound familiar to you. When you set up your timing, your time slots, and your seasons, you're able to come to your audio editor and for any jingles or any songs, actually select a time slot and a season that it's gonna play in. And then you can even set down here the time range and the date range that this piece of audio is allowed to play in. So for most of your songs, they're gonna be in your rotation for years, if not for a long, longer than that, and you don't have to touch this. But if you're just running a promo for the summer or a song that's gonna come out of the rotation within a few months, then you can check this button and select when to stop playing the audio file down here. So that's a look at the content management side of Radio Cloud. We give you the ability to sort all of your audio in a secure way and in a customizable way. And then with the audio editor, you have the ability to set up to five different mix points and segues per song, really drilling down how your station sounds and how you get to the end of each hour in a smooth way. The true power of Radio Cloud comes from the ability to set multiple segues or mix points on a single song or piece of audio. And that ensures that it's the most flexible content management and automation system on the market. For more tips and tricks of how to get the most out of our platform, head to the website radio.cloud and stay tuned on our social media channels.